You know, I've been labeled an armchair philosopher, which which I don't which I don't really find offensive or anything. But to be honest, uh, because honestly, it's it's an essential part of my my budding armchair philosophy. But to be honest, because honesty is is an essential part of my budding armchair philosophy. I'm more of a I'm more of a wannabe armchair philosophy. Uh, not, not, not having really raised to the greatness in the field of sitting, sitting and thinking yet. Plus, plus the armchair I philosophize on does not actually have arms, which kind of, you know, makes the term a little bit difficult because, because, because I like to play the guitar on my armchair between my armchair philosophizing sessions and and my armchair's arms were getting in the way of holding my guitar. So I removed the arms from my armchair. So now I'm actually more of an, an armless chair philosopher. I'm not an armchair philosopher. I'm an armless chair. I'm an armless chair philosopher. Except that when I say armless chair philosopher, it almost sounds like I'm the one without the arms sitting on a chair which has the arms but that's not the, the chair's the thing that doesn't have the arm i'm an i'm an armless chair colon philosopher an armless chair colon philosopher dang it but that if that doesn't sound like that kind of sounds like i'm, I'm an armless philosopher philosophizing about colons i don't like that term either really whatever i'm going i'm going with it i'm an armless I'm an armless chair colon philosopher and and I, I don't think I could ever be I don't think I could ever really compete with the great armchair philosophers out there you know there's been some great long history of armchair philosophers but maybe maybe I could be like a bigger fish in the smaller pond of the armless chair philosophers right the armless chair colon philosophers there's not there's not as many of them so I might be, I might be able to, you know, be the big fish in the pond there. Just, just to be clear, my armchair has no arms, you know, you know, because I'm now I'm thinking like the term armless, the term armless chair kind of sounds like the arm chair has less than the normal amount of arms because it's armless, right? So possibly like it's a chair with one arm or something, but no, my chair is armless, meaning meaning it has no arms at all not even one arm uh and i'm so so i'm more like an a, like a no armed i'm a no armed chair philosopher no wait i am armed i don't don't make don't make mistake i am armed i'm armed to the teeth now even my teeth are armed better watch yourself because my teeth will my, my teeth will reach out and grab you that's how armed they are anyways I'm a I'm a no armchair philosopher, a no armchair colon philosopher. So it doesn't. But dang it, that sounds like I'm a that sounds like I'm philosophizing about about colons not being properly armed or something. I don't know. Whatever. I give up on naming stuff is hard.